Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Okay, I am live. Let's check it out. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try this again. This time um, with the right profile. In the earlier one, I used my recording profile, and that would have become a problem. Okay, let's see. The stream is continuing. Okay, that looks okay. All right, that works. So, I'm just going to do a random stream right now. Let's check this. Does this work? Yes, this appears to work. All right. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, right. That happens. <laughs> ah, yes, Windows 95. Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. You can see ScanDisk. Oh, you should be able to see ScanDisk. So that's good. Just gonna pop out the chat real fast. How can I do that again? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. There we go. Aha. All right, there is that. There goes nothing. Okay, let's see if that works. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Hello! Windows 95, yes. So, um, I have recently, it's not 12 a.m., that's weird. Um, I have recently set up a virtual machine with Windows 95. Um, I have tried that a few times over, over, over time. But uh, it never really worked out, like, satisfyingly. Um, I tried doing that in DOSBox. And it's possible. It worked, kind of. I ran Windows 95 in DOSBox, but it was too clunky, too finicky, and it really did not work right. Um, so that didn't work. And at some point, I tried to use VirtualBox and some other normal virtual machine things. And they also, and that also was too slow, usually. I couldn't really play games with it um, because it wasn't really made to do that, I guess. Um, so now I'm using PCEM or PCM. That's sort of a PC emulator uh, that is not like DOSBox. You actually have to, you know, you have to do everything. You have it, it emulates a bunch of stuff. In this case now, it emulates a Pentium 200 with a S3, F, S3 Dirge, I think, video adapter, and a Voodoo 2 graphics accelerator, 3FX Voodoo 2, which uh, is nice. So um, that works out nicely. Well, like Pentium 200 around that and uh, you know I set up a whole operating system and then you have to worry about drivers and all this kind of stuff in DOSBox you'd have none of this and uh, with this yeah so it took me a while to set this up because man oh man going back to Windows 95 is something um, and uh, here we are so yeah I got this to work and was like oh awesome and then I sort of went into my old game CDs and uh, dug a few out and, you know, installed some stuff. And then I thought, hey, maybe I can just stream this for a bit. Because that's fun, isn't it? There's one problem, and um, that is we're not going to have any sound from... We're not going to have any game sound or anything like that. Um, for some reason, for some reason, OBS does not like PCEM, and it does not pick up any sound from that. It just picks up some crackling, and uh, 
yeah, that is not gonna work. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so no game sound for this, but uh, which is a bit of a bummer. I need to maybe, maybe I can fix that somehow, but I wasn't able to do that right now. So uh, yeah. So um, yeah, we're just going to muck around with Windows 95 a bit because uh, man, I'm getting major nostalgia to my face looking at this thing. And uh, yeah, and then play some games, I guess. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff here, so uh, that's gonna be fun. I need to close the door. I forgot closing the door. That's stupid. Um, one moment. <sighs> All right, here we go again. So, yeah. Um, so what I did was I went into my old, I have a bunch of binders with old CDs, and I just took a few of them uh, that were Windows 95 games, and uh, you know, I just installed a bunch of it, and uh, I made I made CD images from them, because it's easier to not have to juggle with actual physical CDs, and it's uh, more reliable, you know, you don't have to, like, I don't trust all of these old CDs of mine all that much and um, you know that's actually sort of a project that I'm going to undertake I'm probably going to make images of all my old game stuff and uh, you know just started with that and I've just installed a bunch of things so um, the reason why I've been doing this is there is a bit of an era of post DOS early Windows games that is really hard to or that is not easy to um, get running on modern machines, right? There is like this, uh, this no man's and these no man's land years. That's stupid. That's a stupid expression. But there's this, uh, this. There are a few years of PC games that are hard to, to get running. You know, all like all the DOS stuff is really good. Like DOSBox is really awesome is a really great program to uh, run all the DOS things uh, hassle-free. But around like around 96, there are more and more games that are Windows 95 only. And um, this actually gives us a good, uh, like with this, you can actually kind of run or you currently like, again, this is a Pentium 200 with a Voodoo 2 graphics accelerator this runs games around like around the year up until the year 99 and 2000 around that you know like in 99 most games were still windows 95 compatible and um you know maybe not games that are extremely extremely um demanding i don't know if i would actually run unreal with this for example maybe maybe it actually runs maybe it actually works out fine but uh, for some of these games you know unreal actually works fine under windows 10 without any so you don't actually need to muck around with this stuff but there's some stuff that is kind of lost to time and um you know for this this is great and i've installed a bunch of st stuff here for example warcraft 2 is a dos game actually warcraft 2 even here in Windows, runs in DOS mode. But uh, the map editor of Warcraft 2 is a... Oh no, oh no. Oops, I don't have the CD in. The map editor of Warcraft 2 is a 32-bit Windows 95 application. And that means that it doesn't work. You can't actually use the map editor in DOSBox unless you install Windows in DOSBox, and that's a hassle. So uh, yeah, that now works. So that's fine. I'm just I just have to quickly go into my CD images. Where do we have Warcraft? There we go. And just mount my image that I made earlier. Boom. This one. Come on. There we go. Warcraft 2. There we got this. And um, some of these actually this is an English version. Uh some of these are actually German versions of games, so uh, I'm sorry about that, but, you know, growing up in Germany, you know, some games are the German version. That's just how it works out. So yeah, the map editor, let's start it. See, this is sort of a Windows 95 thing, where, uh, 
Yay, and we can make maps and so on. Good. We're not going to do much with this, but uh, yeah. You know, mucking around with editors was the coolest thing for me back in the day. I like the idea of being able to create your own stuff was amazing. And um, I still like it. Also, A, my friend and colleague, another dying compatriot. Um, yeah, he's also, he's also, he still actually makes a lot of levels of stuff and wants me to play them. I think he recently made a, well not recently, not so recently, but he made a mission for Warhammer Chaos Gate that uh, he wants me to play and I still have not installed any of this and I uh, need to do that. Okay, wait, let me see. I lost the chat. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's the map editor for Warcraft 2. If you want to do that, you have to run this in old Windows. So this does not, like, I have not been able to get this to run in modern Windows, on, under Windows 10. And I have not, and it does not run on, in DOS. So, you know, for stuff like that. Also, I have installed Command and Conquer and Command and Conquer Red Alert, which I previously had set up in DOSBox. Um, and that is suboptimal because the DOS version of Command and Conquer only runs in VGA, not in, uh, you know, the, the Windows 95 version runs in 640 by 480 in SVGA. And uh, that is actually a big difference in that game in terms of playability. Stuff like that. Okay, let's play something, shall we? Um, let's start with a racing game. This is Redline Racer. Oh dear, I need to change CDs now. This is Redline Racer. This is the German version. You're not going to see. It doesn't matter that much for... Uh, for this. So Redline Racer is, I, th is, I think, from 1999. Um... And let's run this. Let's see a red line. There we go. Let's see if it works. 3D FX. Haven't seen that in a while. Yes, and it was put was put out by Ubisoft. At that point, it was still two words: Ubisoft Entertainment. And it was developed by Criterion, which is see Criterion Studios. Criterion is uh, most well known for the Burnout games later on, and then they sort of got folded into the EA machine. And uh, I think nowadays they mostly make, um, you know, uh, they're mostly a technical studio, I think. They assist other EA studios in technical stuff. They also made a few Need for Speed games. I think of the modern Need for Speed games, those are kind of the best, and the ones that are considered the best. I think. The Hot Pursuit and Most Wanted reboots or something like that. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, yeah, Redline Racer, there we go. This is an old racing game, um, and uh, let's play this for a bit. I actually already finished this one. Let's try this again. Avante, let's pick this one. Again, we don't have sound. I'm sorry for not having sound. That's just an unfortunate circumstance that is kind of beyond my control right now. Um, and let's do automatic. Why not? And uh, here we go. Yeah, this looks good, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, so this is from 1999. This is a 3D game. And as you can see, this works out quite nicely, actually. This, uh, this runs well. So... Yeah, I think it's not the most technically sophisticated game of that time, but I can actually hear my um, my my fans go from this. So this is actually not that undemanding. Um, emulating an old PC with all this stuff here, with like uh, with the graphics and with everything, is actually not that right. You actually need kind of a beefy computer for that. Um, it's mostly CPU heavy. So uh, you cannot actually use, a, and it's single core CP, CPU heavy. So um, the best thing for this, for sort of setting up a 
Windows 95 or Windows 98, that is, virtual machine is to um, but 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 is to uh, you need high clock speed on a single core. So uh, the multi-core thing, you, whether you have six or eight or four cores, that doesn't really matter. What matters is how fast the clock speed is on a single core, or how fast a single core is on your thing, because uh, it does not multi-thread. You cannot actually emulate a single-threaded CPU with a multi-threaded and using multi-threading. I guess I don't know. I'm 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 no computer engineer technician expert person but um that is how it goes so um yeah you know it works well up until this i think you i can it actually pcm actually has support for mmx so uh, i could actually i think i can go up to pentium mmx 233 i guess right now this is a pentium 200 running as a pentium 200 um, for like for some games, for example, POD also by Ubisoft. Uh, for some games, there is um, man, this is not very exciting, isn't it? Uh, for some games, they actually make use of MMX technology and uh, run a little bit better with that. But uh, yeah, so again, this goes up to around 1999. You know, I have a few things from 2000 around that, that probably also still works. Depends on how demanding it was, I guess. And uh, then it kind of stops after that. And after that, you know, like around 2000s, most games started being for Windows 98 as well. Like 99 was also, most games were still, 99, still 95 compa compatible, but uh, that stops around around that time this is not an exciting race i actually really loved this game back in the day redline racer there was something about it i think it's we're probably not going to see that in this race but uh i found i think the next one is the beach race and that is the one that i remember most vividly uh and I think that was awesome. I remember this game being actually difficult, but this one is, uh, I mean, I'm playing on easy, but this one isn't really all that. Um... <laughs> this is not very difficult. <laughs> Let's put it like that. This does not actually have sort of a championship mode or something. This is just arcade mode or time trial. I think that's it. There's a pretty bare bones game, um, but I really loved it. And this was actually, this was a game that ran back in the day, and then I could never get it to run again for years. So this is the first time I'm playing this since, I don't know, the year 2000 or something like that. So that's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Um, let's end this. Let's pick the next race. I think the beach. I remember playing on the beach. Seafall Bay, yeah. And I remember loving this. So uh, let's check this out. Redline Racer. I have a fondness for old racing games. For like racing games of this era. I have to install a few more. Um, there is... Uh, I didn't find the CD, but there was sort of a combat racer that I enjoyed very much back in the day that's called Have a Nice Day and nice being an acronym for something and there was also the second whoa yes oh yeah this is more bumpy this is this is better um and nice to the next game oh fuck me oh yeah that 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 hurt um and that was uh i remember that being really cool so i need to find those i think I, i've Whoa, Jesus Christ. Yes, good. Now we're talking. Um, I I remember Have a Nice Day being really cool. I found the second one. The second one might actually push it. I don't know. I think it's from 99 or 2000. So that... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm completely fucking up here. Yes, this is, but this is more like it. This is kind of what I remember. Uh, this game being kind of fast and kind of uh, 
kind of tough, but it's mainly the bumpiness. It's really easy to lose control. So you actually kind of have to let off the gas sometimes. There we go. And let's make up some places here. Oh god, this takes me back. This really takes me back. Jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, well. <laughs> Look at that water, isn't it great? I love it. Okay. Whoopsie! Daisy! Whoa, yay, 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 yay. Okay. Almost dinged my head on that thing. Yeah, like jumps and stuff are really. God, falsche Richtung. That means wrong way. <laughs> now let's see if I can actually still get these peeps, but not if I bail all the time. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. Oh, come on. Yo, dear me. I don't know what actually bopped me there, but uh, I don't know. Whoops! Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, nice. Have a nice day. And uh, I have actually found the CD for Nice Two. I'm going to install that. Or well, I'm going to ISOFI that and then install it. Uh, Kind of looking forward to that one. Yeah, sort of the... This is obviously totally an arcade racer, right? It's not very realistic, but the physics feel very satisfying. Oh, like everything has a nice... I don't know, the bikes just have a nice weight to them. I really like this. I don't actually... I think this was sort of... Well, that's gold. That's good. I think this game was kind of received in a bit of a middling way. Do I have dropped frame? I have a ton of dropped frames. Oh dear. Hmm. Now this might actually... Okay, I'm also recording this, so I'm going to upload the the recorded file, I guess, after this. But, uh, uh, no, I don't want to do this again, actually. No, let me, let me end this. Escape, yes. Um, huh. Okay, so... Yeah, something is going on with the live streaming. I'm going to upload the recorded thing and then it's going to work out again, I hope. That's weird. So that was Seafall Bay. And now we have Tudor Hill and I think the rest we need to unlock. Yeah. And let's do Tudor Hill and then maybe play something else. How about that? And these are bikes. Different bikes. Oh, let's just stick with the Avante. Um, oh yeah, this is uh, this looks rough. This is looks very crammed. Very it's kind of a claustrophobic road. Jesus. Oh God. There's always something. Ah. Like some time ago, I actually played another old bike racing game and that is Moto Racer which was actually pretty popular back in the day I think um, and that was fun I, so uh, I actually played through the whole thing I don't know I don't play many modern racing games um, although I was kind of interested in maybe getting Forza now that it's out on PC but um, some, I just like, oh god, Christ, god Christ, I actually, I really like to go back to old, uh, old racing games. 
Okay, so Wasted Swan says that they haven't noticed any drop frames, so that's good. Well, I think the the dropped frames were in. Uh, well, thank you for noticing me, notifying me, not noticing me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> thank you for notifying me of that. I think the drop frames were in one chunk at one point, so maybe the stream dropped at one point. Maybe my internet connection did something strange or something like that. Not sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoops. Okay. All right, now this works. So yeah, I played through the entirety of Moto Racer because Moto Racer is uh, that's also sort of a very like this feels um, Moto Racer feels even more arcadey than this. I think it's a bit older as well. I think it's like from ninety seven or ninety eight. All right. Oh, bollocks. Okay. And we're almost done. Ooh. I have like, I have almost the uh, half a track. I'm almost, I have a lead of almost half the track. So, well, like even if we bail here, yeah, that's good. So Wasted Swan is watching on a side screen. Not with their full attention. That's uh, that's okay. I that's actually how I like to watch streams as well. Okay, let's end the race. Let's see if we have unlocked anything. But it doesn't seem to be like it. So we probably have to play on normal difficulty. Yes, we do. But uh, not now. Let's do something else. That's Redline Racer. A game that I have not played in years until now. Last time I played it was probably under proper Windows 98. Also down here I have a bunch of um I have a bunch of Windows 3.1 games. I have the XR games, which are awesome. I have Microman and Warpath. Uh I actually had them set up in a in DOSBox with Windows 3.1 properly. The thing is, um it actually works out better here. Like, it's kind of janky in DOSBox, Windows 3.1, and uh, this works out way better. I don't know. Um, let's do something else. What shall we do? I don't feel like playing Need for Speed right now. Let's, uh... You know what? Let's do Jazz Jackrabbit 2. So Jazz Jackrabbit 2, you actually, you don't actually need to run this under an emulated Windows 95. Um, there is a thing for Jazz, Jack Jazz Jackrabbit 2, sort of a community enhancement thing that's called Jazz Plus or Jazz 2 Plus, I think. And that makes it run wonderfully and enhances it for modern systems. And uh, that's actually how I would recommend playing it. So uh, you don't need to do this here. I just wanted to install Jazz 2 because, uh, you know, having a Windows, you know, Having a Windows 90, 95 system, I need to have... Oh man, this video is not running well. Interesting. Um, I think the game itself does run well. I checked that out earlier. So having a Windows 95 system, I need to have Jazz, Jack Jazz Jackrabbit 2 on it. That's just how it goes. I love Jazz Jackrabbit 2. It's a, it's a fantastic game. Um, so yeah. This game actually still has an active community that plays it and makes levels for it, so that's cool. And you can use Jazz 2 Plus or Jazz Plus 2 or something like that to run it properly and it's better that way. But you know, this is actually, this intro sequence is actually made by Dean Dodrill and um, that guy has made, has made an indie game not that long ago. I think it's called Dust. Dust the an Elysian Tale or something like that. Something like that. It's sort of a Metroidvania-ish thing that was pretty well received and is supposed to be really good. I've never played it though. So that's your bit of trivia for now. And uh, yeah, that's just Rackery 2. For some reason, yeah. 
I don't know why the videos run so badly, but well, let's play this for a bit. Yeah, there's a platformer. The first Jazz Jack Rabbit was kind of a uh, kind of a. I don't think that the first Jazz Jack Rabbit two is very good. I loved it back in the day, but uh, I've replayed it, and I don't think it's very good. It's sort of, and it was also not very, you know, it was kind of a Sonic clone for PCs. It was one of those games that sort of copy, or not clone, but it, that sort of copy uh, console games for PC. And it's not really, I don't know, I don't think it's very good. I think this one is, uh, way more its own thing and it's way more of a, of a PC game like this is very much this is a platformer you know that is sort of a usually a console genre but um, in a very sort of computer game way I don't know I did I didn't know how to actually express this but uh, the way the levels are built and the way You know, you can kind of see that it's made by Epic Mega Games, by a uh, a computer shareware developer. Whoa! I, whoops. That was something, yeah. Huh. Yeah, and you know. It has all this cool stuff, like the creation station, which, which is a level editor. I actually made a bunch of levels with that back in the day. Don't have them anymore though. And uh, the multiplayer modes, you know, you you have like deathmatch and all this kind of stuff. So again, it's very much a PC game, but as a platformer, and uh, that's cool. I don't think we need to play much of this. I actually, <laughs> I'm probably. I'm actually kind of thinking, you know, I'm, again, I'm mostly playing Caves of Cut on the channel, but um, I actually wanted to do some more, like, smaller Let's Plays in between, you know, like some small encapsulated things, and I was actually thinking of playing through Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 for that, but uh, I won't actually do it on the Windows 95, I'm going to play it kind of... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the Jazz Plus thing. Can even run it on a, with a higher resolution and stuff like that. I also wanted at some point to check out some, uh, you know, some community-made stuff. That's probably some really good stuff. I always love that shit. Like, uh, you know, I always say that Doom is my favorite game. Except when I say that Caves of Curd is my favorite game. But when I say Doom is my favorite game, what I actually mean is everything about Doom. And that is mostly Doom as sort of a... Oh, there is something. There's a one up there. I think you have to do some crazy stuff like this. And... Oh, jeez, yeah. But that's what you have to do. Oh, no. This is not working out. Okay. I, I kind of like it when games become sort of a a platform for so much more, but not in that like in that very sort of uh, democratic community way, not in the cynical corporate way. I don't know. Like when a community makes a game their own, sort of after the fact. I really enjoy that. Ah, I'm not going to be able to do this. Oops, and I did not pick up all the all the coins that I could have picked up. But yeah, this is otherwise this is a pretty straightforward platformer actually. But um, one thing that I really love about this is uh, the background parallax. You know, again, being a late '90s PC game, 
it actually or a 2d game but on late 90s pc and actually could do some stuff that even console games at the time couldn't you know like playstation games were in 320 by 200 so this can be like high resolution and sort of really go at it with uh, parallax scrolling and all this kind of stuff so yeah, that was a that was a hot minute <laughs> where stuff like that came out and also the, like the like at that time there were also these gorgeous um 2d adventure games like monkey island 3 and uh and uh, what's it called larry 7 and this stuff And then that kind of went away because everything had to be 3D and everything looked like garbage for for a long time until people got over that again until 3D started looking okay and and people got over that and here we are now now we got everything which is good What is even okay? Okay, okay. Um, let's let's end this. I think this is this is enough. Just Jack Rabbit. Again, uh, maybe I'm going to actually do like in the back of my mind. I wanted to play. I want to play through this game again. It's been a long time since I last have, and uh, maybe I'm going to do that on video. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, you know what? Do you know Microman? <laughs> now we're in the shitty beginning of VR, says Wasted Swan. Yeah, yeah, we are. Like I'm, I'm not really interested in VR personally. Like I mostly play stuff that isn't really. Oh, oh no. It isn't really all that, uh, you know, I play games without graphics most of the time, so I may be a bad person to talk about this, but, oops. But, um, I'm, I don't know, like I'm, I think VR has like really awesome promise but i think games are maybe a bad or like the not games but the games the games industry in a way because you know i'm not really interested in a, in an immersive way of shooting dudes and i think like a lot of things that developers do for, i like i like shooting dudes I, I i love playing first person shooters as i said doom is kind of my favorite game so don't get me wrong there but i can play doom you know i don't need vr for that and like immersion is not really what i'm looking for i guess but yeah i would love to play a racing game actually i would love to play something like What's a good VR racing game? Project Cars or something like that. Or I would, I would like to play Dirt Rally in in VR. That would be something fun to find out. But this is not really. I, but we're all always in a, you know, this is not a. Uh, um. Not a six hundred dollar thing, you know. I don't have that kind of money. Or even if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't really be looking to spend it on that. I don't know. It could it could become something really cool again, right? VR is all about potential. But uh, okay. But uh, as right now, I'm not seeing it. You know, if it becomes cool at some point, I'm I might be in. But well, 
So what is X4 VR? I've never heard of that. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, what are you? Okay. Rawr. Okay. Well, so this is Microman. This is a sort of an old Windows 3.1 shareware game, and uh, it's quaint, but maybe not great. <laughs> oh dear, that's the boss. <laughs> oh, X Rebirth. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. That's probably pretty fun, isn't it? Never played X Rebirth. Actually, I've never. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. Now well, that's pretty cool, I guess. I played a bunch of X Three a while ago, like a, a long while ago, but uh, never really got like X Rebirth was so poorly received that I never really looked into it. But uh, you know, I played a bunch of Elite Dangerous. A while ago and that would be really fun in vr i think that actually also works in vr so uh that would be cool or you know something like euro truck sim or something like that i uh that's probably fun and uh i'm i got murderized in microman shamefully uh but yeah stuff like that is probably good i also <laughs> um i'm i'm a motion sick prone person like i can't for example i can't read on moving vehicles i can't read on, on the bus i can't use my phone on the bus it's really bad so uh that would probably also be a problem for me in vr <laughs> uh that's another thing i don't know but, uh, yeah. Okay, now we go. Let's take this way. So again, Microman. Um, this is a, a, again, Windows 3.1 shareware game. And uh, the interesting thing about this, if there's anything interesting about it, is that it is made by people who would later go on to form a company that is known as monolith and monolith you know they are still around they became a pretty prolific first person shooter developer they made uh, blood they made no one lives forever shogo the fear games and uh, nowadays they make those Middle Earth games like Shadows of Mordor and so on. And so um, this is sort of the start of a long legacy of, of computer games. And, you know, <laughs> humble beginnings and stuff, I guess. Like other than that, there's not much in here that is very interesting. I guess it's just a kind of clunky, kind of slow platformer. It does some, I kind of like how weird it is. Like, uh, I kind of remember from back in the day that at some point there is a pit in this that is actually bottomless. So you always fall. You never... And uh, that actually scared me as a kid. <laughs> it might actually be down here, I don't know. Oops. Yeah. Or maybe it's just very deep, I don't know. But this is just a very weird game. Um, maybe it would be fun actually trying to finish this at some point. Yeah, so I think you always drop here. Maybe there's actually some way you can get out of this. Maybe there's some hidden thing. Oops, and now you I died. 
Okay, well. <laughs> yes, Brian L. Goble. I think that was... I think he formed Monolith. So that's Microman. Done with that. Yes, I am definitely sure I want to exit this. Um, yeah. <clears throat> SimCity 2000. Also cool. SimTower. SimTower is also one of these games that uh, I... Once, like, Windows 90X was done, I couldn't really get to run anymore. And especially after the switch to 64-bit. Do I need the disk for that? Let's see. I might actually need to restart this because uh, <laughs> this being Windows 95, it, it apparently is not very happy about I don't know that works oh yeah oh yeah this is actually I've just installed it um I've not tested it oh dear this runs way faster than it should whoops let's turn off the schnell modus the fast mode um yep sim tower oh dear oh I played this so much Let's see, what do we have? Lobby. Let's start with a lobby. Whoop. There we go. That's the lobby for you. And uh, so, yeah, these are apartments, lobby, and I think you actually unlock different things. I don't know. And you both build a tower. So, yeah. I loved SimTower. So this is for sale and probably not going to be sold because people have no way of getting there. So let's build an elevator. Boom. Like that. See? And now people are actually living in here. Build an office. Probably a bad idea to put these so closely next to each other. And you know, you build a tower. And uh, this stuff gets rented out. And, uh, oh dear, now I, now I actually want to kind of play this. So let's put a, put a restaurant in here. Let's do another one of these. So people live here. I think these just get sold and you get money immediately. Yes, indeed. So they take up place, but they won't actually give you give you anything beyond that. So these are, yeah. And at some point you have to really go about log logistics and stuff, stuff like that. Lobby, offices. Let's make an office floor. And you know, you have to kind of worry about stuff like, uh, No. noise levels and so on. You can have peeps who are really, like if you have, uh, oops, no, that doesn't work. Oh dear, no, that's bad. Some, no, that doesn't work. Well, well. Yeah, I remember, like, I remember this being really fun. So I don't know, I'm probably not going to play much of this, but, uh... Okay, so in the night, none of these is actually... Let's start the, whoops, let's start the fast mode real fast again, and let's see what happens. Yeah, and now there's actually stuff happening here. Are those offices there are not really there's not really anything happening there in those offices. And my tower gets smaller and smaller because uh I miscalculated. 
Yeah. Simtower, that would actually be something for uh, really getting into it later as well. Like, it's probably... Yeah, it's probably not great for, like, this short amount of time. But yeah, like, this era of games, like, like 95 to 2000, I guess, is sort of... If, if you go for uncritical, unchecked nostalgia, that's sort of the, the one that most tucks my strings. So... Um, let's put in another CD. Or like, let's do something. I wanted to screensaver. Yeah, we have none. Yes, this one. Ha! Ah, remember this? I love that. I always wanted, like, as a kid, I always wanted to actually play this. Like, nowadays, maybe not. <laughs> like, even Wolfenstein 3D is kind of... more... <laughs> more interesting than this, but... I've always looked awesome. You would actually... I think you would actually do stuff like... Uh, settings, let's see. Yeah, you can actually do different walls. Oh yeah, oh fuck. Let's do this. Yes, yeah, so let's do some fractal bollocks here. Yeah. Boom. This is going to be... Yeah! Holy shit. Oh, this is bad. Oh dear, this is really bad. Let's not do that. Only the three textures and those fractal images, right? But I think you can actually... Yeah, you can actually pick your own stuff. You can put porn on everything. Or maybe not. Um, yeah, and also like uh, the background, like the wallpapers. There weren't actually any uh, any picture wallpapers in that came with Windows ninety five. I don't, I didn't actually remember that. But once I got to it, I was like, oh yeah, there were only these patterns, or like these tiled patterns. So they are really, really small. Like, see, that's it. It's just blue rivets, and then you tell them, and it looks like this. So, black thatch. Yeah, that's nice. Carved stone. That's not so nice. Hound's tooth. That is garbage. Oh dear. Like, there's some of this stuff is like, why would you ever, ever do this? Pinstripe. Uh -huh. Dicey. Okay, that's the setup. Straw mat. Uh -huh. Tiles is this one. This is actually kind of pleasant to look at. So, triangles. Oh dear, this actually messes with your face. Uh, that's Voodoo 2 because I have Voodoo 2 installed. Uh, and that's waves. None of those is really good, isn't it? Uh, maybe this one. Maybe this one is the most pleasant to the eyes. Um, okay. Let me check something. Ah. Dashboard. Okay, here we are. Okay, it still works. Yeah, the stream seems to still work. I was actually, also, recently I had a thing where I was like, oh, I kind of want to play through an old real-time strategy campaign again. I don't know. That's sort of the reason why I have like Command and Conquer on here and Mech Commander and uh, Warcraft 2. I don't know. I, have a, I don't know why I have this urge. I, I don't really... I'm not really like... Real-time strategy is not really my favorite genre in a way. They are too hectic for me. <laughs> I'm actually more of a sort of a hexagon field, hexagon map war game type of guy but for some reason i just i don't know it's just cozy to me i guess you know what let's do let's put in another cd and then let's do this well we rip see that 
works. Huh? Are you working? Yes, you are working. Good. All right, this is, uh, yeah, Command & Conquer Red Alert. Which you can run in DOS, but I really wouldn't recommend it because uh, it only runs in VGA resolution. Hmm. Again, kind of a bummer that we don't have any sound here, but um, that isn't working right now, so sorry about that. New mission, start a new game. There we go. Normal difficulty, and uh, let's just play. Choose your side. Let's. Pl I should play Soviet. I should really play Soviet, but I have put in the the Allied disc. So present day. There's some cheesy, cheesy interlaced video, which is always good. <laughs> they really went for this, weren't they? Westwood was such a good studio. They made such good games. Like, Command & Conquer is great, I know. Like, that's what they are mostly known for, and that's what they were doomed to make for all eternity under EA. But, um, not for all eternity. Until they got shut down, that is. Um, but, like, before that, they were just top of the world. Like, they made adventure games, like the Corandia games that were all right. Like, I think Legend of Corandia 2 is actually really good. I've never played those, really. I've played one for a bit and couldn't get into it. But uh, they are supposed to be good. They made, like, RPGs, like the Lands of Law stuff, and they made tons of stuff. It was really fun, just fantastic. And they were kind of like pixel wizards. Like, this stuff is all, like, pre-rendered stuff, but they are, their actual, like, pixel art, for example, in the first Lands of Law, was just incredible. Okay, I think now we've got the ships coming, and they destroy everything. Yes. Come on, conquer. I, I was always more of a Warcraft guy than Command & Conquer, but I I have a respect for Command & Conquer. And uh, Red Alert is the one that I that I mostly played, or the only one that I played, that I had. Um, I have also Command & Conquer 1 here, because Command & Conquer 1, 2, 3 are free. EA was actually kind of a... Maybe someone had a good mood at some point, and uh, they released the first three Command & Conquer games as freeware. Well. I actually need to get Tiberian Sun on here as well. I always really love how Tiberian Sun looks and feels. Like nowadays. Back in the day, everyone was kind of uh, super disappointed, if you remember. But, uh, yeah, that was cool. There's actually a quasi-source port called um, OpenRA. Like an op a open source recreation of Command & Conquer. I think Command & Conquer 1, Red Alert, and um, what's the other one? Dune 2000, if I remember correctly. And those are cool. Um, the thing is, they are not really, they are kind of a different thing. They change a lot about the games. So uh, they are awesome. I would recommend checking out OpenRA, but uh, it's not the same thing. And um, you know, you can kind of play the missions. They have recreated the missions in OpenRA, or like not all of them, but most of them. Or not most of them, but a good number of them, I guess. But you can't really play it as a campaign. You can only play the missions one by one. And uh, again, they've changed a lot about the game, like about the AI and stuff. Like it's not just um, quality of life changes. It is... Uh, it is kind of more substantial changes to how the game works. That they are actually kind of different. And uh, that's fine, right? Well, like, you could probably say that they are improved, even. Or they are pretty surely improved. But, uh, you know, I kind of... Again, I, as I said, I was thinking playing through sort of an RTS campaign. And uh, for that, OpenRA doesn't really work. So, uh, yeah. So now we actually have to clear the way for a bunch of convoys. We stay here for a bit. 
Oops. Ooh, do oops. Don't get blown up by those barrels. So let's get an ore refinery going. Ah, Command Conquer is good. Like the the old Command Conquer games, they are super good. They are super good games. I got some more dropped frames now, like a thousand more. So uh, again, I guess the stream was cutting out at some point again. It has to be my internet connection. There's something something flaky there. All right. Oops. Oh yeah, there was something going on. Clear the way for the convoy. Ah, this takes a bit to get going, doesn't it? Boom. Okay, I've been going for an hour. I think I'm going to stop soon. So that was just a bit like, I don't know. I set up my windows and was like, hey, uh... Let's do a quick stream. And that's what I did. So I hope you, I don't know, this was not like a very, did not do a very in-depth thing, but that that's not what this was supposed to be. So um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Wasted Swan, for hanging out in the chat. And uh, we're going to see each other again at some point. Bye.